Well, this is Mercs, and we're here to give you more or less an update on strategic situation of what's been going on here. Um, I'm trying to invite the Spanish states into our alliance. Well, I've got to figure out how to get these guys off our non-aggression pact. Sure, we'll, we'll make non. We'll set up non-aggression packs with them. I guess if we like guarantee their independence and offer them non-aggression packs, maybe we can bring them in the alliance. I think it's just because we have too much belligerence. This is the current state of our army. It needs to be built up. The Germans have plenty of divisions. They at least have a hundred. And National France is in the German camp. So, getting them. If I give them my current French controlled lands, it'd be just handing them free territories. Problem is, and there's another set of fort lines around the heart of Paris. To get to Germany, we have to cross like three sets of fort lines, or one big blob of forts, and line one. It's going to be costly, to say the least. Okay, now just discuss strategic targets for the upcoming next two years, or the upcoming year. I think it may be best to hold off on a land. I think it would be a wise idea to hold off on an attack there for a while. Um, the Kingdom of Italy. See, the Kingdom of Italy may be able to side with us if we were to give them these lands. See, I think the next set of strategic um, advances will be a landing at Malta. We'll either stage the landing at Malta from this set of islands, or Marseille, or maybe even Torlon, or just land in Sicily and take out the Italian Socialist Republic, or the Socialist Republic of Italy. Russia would be a country I'd want to help influence, or I'd want on my side. If Rod the Germans would have to split their troops on two fronts and we'd actually have a fighting chance. And Russia would get back her old empire and Russia would become a superpower. Okay, now to discuss plans of research. Um, discussing plans of research, yes. Very important research projects. Okay, what do you think is going to be the best to go into research? Leave a comment. A lot of our texts are outdated. As soon as we get into the Entente, we'll get blueprints, which will help us get our texts back up to snuff. We've got the African colonies now, of or what once was Spain, that's now separated into two states, the Carlist and Kingdom of Spain, which isn't even like ruled by a king, I don't think. Yeah. It's like the, is, they have the same picture. This is unrelated. Yeah, the heads of state for Carlist and Kingdom of Spain have the same picture. Are they like ruled by the same guy? Just have different prime ministers? Javar de... Oh, they're the same guys. I was like... Or are they clones or something? Well, they're ruled by the same people. It's just this, he's called SKM something. Xavier, Francis Depot. Yeah, they're the same people. I couldn't figure that out for a moment, so back to it. The plan of building. This is the, all the current naval productions and troop productions. Six divisions pumping out. One, two, three, four, five. Five carriers. Plenty of light and heavy cruisers. We obviously need more fighters. And I need better fighters than the ones I have now. I haven't been keeping...
need plenty more infantry units as well. I would like to go into paratroopers just for the landing here and they'd be useful to open up to, I don't know, maybe do a landing in like Antwerp or something and cause a whole bunch of German and Belgian divisions to redeploy to this line. Yeah. Well, maybe it's a good thing the Habsburg Empire is not centralized. If it was, um, I could give Germany a po more powerful ally than I could ever hope to fight. And the question of Japan. They still hold Guam, which is an American territory, but Japan's more, well, reasonable. The AOG and the Quins. The Quins aren't really... They're fighting Mongolia, it looks like, to defeat Baron von Stonberg, this guy, or the Mad Baron, Roman Urgen von Stonberg, or Sternberg, or the Mad Baron. Mexico has been brought into our alliance, so their troops will be deployed to future fronts. We'll probably see the first use of the Mexican divisions, kin divisions, which... We can conjure up about six divisions here. We'll be in probably the invasion of Italy or Malta. And they'll of course be used. I want to bring the Spanish in there sometime soon. As well as other Entente nations. Um, what do you think I should go after? Or what do you think the immediate, or the next, the plan for... Okay. I got cut off by Fraps once again. I really need to find a better program than Fraps for this type of thing. Um, but... Or the free version of Fraps, at least. Um, so, what should we do for the rest of 19, 1940 and 1941? Leave a comment on what you think the best uh, strategy should be for this type of thing. Also, looking at the Fourth Balkan War here. Greece and Albania and Serbia seem to be doing decent. Serbia's lost territory, though. Well, I'm getting sidetracked here. Oh, and this is a glitch. Yeah, that probably shouldn't be it. Hasmiat Arabia and Egypt got territory. They beat up the Ottomans. Um, apparently the syndicalists, or they're, they're not even syndicalists, they're socialist democratic, or social democratic, not socialist democratics, not, dem not democratic socialists, or maybe that's the same thing. So they have Gandhi and this guy fighting the federation, and Delhi will probably come in and tear them apart afterwards. Well. I was thinking originally it would be a waste of manpower. And I think the available Mexican divisions, even though they're going to be shipped over to Europe soon, can hold them off. Well, enough of me talking. Leave a comment on what you think the immediate strategy should be, or the strategy for the next year and what's left of this year. I need to get this 25% down sometime. Mercs 11, signing off.